Hi, I'm Ryan, and this is Wondering About Wolves. Today, we're going to be talking about what's been going on at Wolves. Yeah, what's been going on down at the Molyneux recently. Lots of um, activity, yeah. you know, lots of things been going on. So what we're we looking at first? The transfer dealing so far. Right, so, and you're telling us first about the players that we've bought in or the players that we've shipped out? So first, I'm going to be talking about the players that are going out. Right, go on then. So first, Vettina and William Jose, um, mm -hmm. the loans yeah, were not made permanent. No, that's right. Um, both have gone back to the parent yeah. clubs. I keep hearing rumours about Vettina though, that this deal might not be dead and it still might be resurrected and something still might happen. So I, I wouldn't mm -hmm. say the Vettina one is completely dead in the water. So yeah. I do keep hearing little bits and bobs about that. Mm -hmm. Seems like William Jose, that's it, done and dusted. He's gone back to his club though. So mm -hmm. yeah, their loans haven't been made permanent. Yeah. Then next is Patricio and he has gone to Rome at for 10 million. Yeah, that's, so that, I think that's good business. Good money. Yeah. It is good money. Too. He's 33. He's 33 yeah, so. now, right? Yeah. He's um, getting old. <laughs> and I'd, he wore great last season, Rui Patricio. Yeah. You know, there was um, some goals he conceded where we looked at him and we said, mm, could and he have done better? Like he would have known himself. Yeah, you know, know, some people out there that defend him and say this and the other, but he knows himself. Some yes. of them he'd have expected to do better with. Um, his kicking's never been great. No. Distribution's never been great. He ain't a great communicator. He's a very quiet goalkeeper. Yeah. And he's very much a man who likes to stay on his line. Yeah, he don't like and, coming off and grabbing corners. No, he you know. don't like coming and grabbing the crosses and, and commanding his box. So there's a lot there, and his age is 33. There's a lot there where we can yeah. look and say, that ain't bad business. We've had three good years out of yeah, him. He's, yeah. done, he's done quite well for us over a three-year period. Mm -hmm. He's still, you know, Portugal's number one. He's a good yeah. shot stopper. But there's also stuff we can talk about on the negative side, which we just have. So I think yeah. that's decent business. So, and I'm sure you're going to tell us later on we've got a new goalkeeper coming in to yes. take his place. So are we on to the... Oh, before we talk about the ins, though, let's talk about some rumours about players going out. So... Neves has been rumoured for a long time yes, to be leaving. Yes. He's been linked with Arsenal, hasn't he? Mm, how would you feel about that? You know, if we did get rid of Neves, what would your opinions be on that one? If if, the, if a deal did happen, not saying yeah. he's going to, but there's rumours that Neves could be one player who leaves. Well, I wouldn't mind really because I mean he hasn't been at his best this season. You aren't, you aren't last season. Where's no. the wonder goals gone? You know what I mean. The wonder goals have dried up, didn't they? I know. In last yeah. season, along with a lot of our players, weren't his best season. We have had a lot of good years out of him now, we like have. maybe four years, I think it is. We've had yeah, him we've with had us him now, for long enough, his and time he's done great for us over that period of time. But yeah, you know, maybe has. the squad needs freshening up. We've got a new manager, new ideas. Yeah. This might be a time when we have to cut ties with people who've been great servants to our club. And if we got good money for yeah. him, 35 million, maybe 40 million, yeah. and we reinvested that, might not necessarily be a bad thing. You know, the, yeah. the squad does need an overall because last season was very flat and very stale, and especially that centre midfield area. Yeah. Needs more athleticism, I feel, in there. Also rumoured, to stop it again, yeah. Connor Cody's been linked to going out, Willie Bolly's been yeah. linked to going out, mm -hmm. Daniel Pedence has been linked to going out. A lot of these rumours... Um, attached to Nuno, saying that Nuno fancies having Cody, Nuno, Nuno fancies having, having Bolly, Nuno fancies having Pedence. What do you think yeah. about them three? Them three names that I've just thrown out at you. Well, Pedence, I wouldn't mind going. Mm -hmm. I think that you know he hasn't. He hasn't he set he the hasn't, world alight, has he? Yeah. Like, again, last season the one underperformed. A lot of injury problems last yes, season. A lot. And remember, we've bought in. Um, we will get to in a minute. Trinco. Um, We've got Adama Traore, Pedro Metal will be back in October. So, yeah. all, all of those guys we've got there who can yeah. be dribblers, guys who can play as wide attackers, guys who can fulfil that role. And, and, and all of those three, I think, travel with the ball really well, take people on. So, we've got other They're options there. Players. If we were to sell Pedence for good money, there's other people at the club who can do that job. Um, Cody and Bolly, what are you feeling about them? Well, um, I think we should keep those two personally. Mm, you like those two, yeah. Yeah, I think um, they've done well for us in defence and mm. I think that Cody, you know, is the captain and we need him. He's a good you know, leader. He's a good leader. He is, yeah. Then Bolly, he's good in the air and we need people like that because we, we don't have enough right. just good in the air. You're right, you know? we've got a lack of big players, eh? Yeah. You know, midgets are us, we have. When that <laughs> ball comes team. in the box, you think, midget oh, team. Lord. Uh, some, and when Bolly's out, you know, the height, he's, yeah, he, yeah. he's a big fan. When you look at him line up, it's, always, it's like that. It's like the whole down okay. here, right? you know. Yeah, so you do need some big, some big blokes. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that interesting thought. Um, the what I will say about Cody is, if we go to a back four, which Bruno Large yeah. you now seems to prefer, 
Mm. Is there going to be a place for Cody? Is there going to be a place there then for Cody? We don't know. I don't know. But the, the, there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on. A lot of rumours, and, and as these things develop, obviously we'll let people know. Now you go on. Finally, I'll let Finally. you get on to the players <laughs> who we've brought in. Yeah. So um, I Nori made permanent for ten million. Mm hmm. Now, Ike Nori, I think, had a very good back end of the season. Yeah. You know, I think over that last sort of, I don't know, 10 games or so, he was one of our better players. He was. And he was seemed to be finding his feet, defensively doing better. The original fee was rumoured to be like, we had to buy him for 20 million, but yeah. we've got a good deal here. We we've have. knocked it yeah. down to 10, but there's a clause in the contract where they get a big percentage of the sell-on if we sell him, or we had to buy out the sell-on clause. So yeah. there's, that, there's that stipulation in the contract, but for the moment... 10 million, I think, for a good young prospect. He's a good yeah. dribbler. He's got nice feet. He gets forward well. He has improved defensively. He definitely And he was one of our better players at the back end of last season. Not bad. What else? Who else has been bought um, in? Next is Mosquera, and we've got him for 4 million. He's a Colombian defender. He's a, he he correct, Columbia. correct. He's a Colombian fella. Coming yeah. to play, he's a defender. And, um, sorry, from what I've heard, he loves a good slide as well, so... He does, he's yeah. Man. The sentence that I seem to remember was something like, he celebrates a slide tackle like other players celebrate a goal. Yeah. Which is great, because we all love a good we slide a tackle, don't we? And the art of defending, you know, it's, it's, it's dying off, so... Yeah. Let, let's let the referees let people slide and win the ball. There's nothing yeah. wrong with slide tackling. You can win the ball cleanly in a good slide tackle. It ain't going to be a leg breaker. You can't clamp down on it. Oh, somebody sliding, fell, fell. Fell, fell. No, no, that's part of the game. Tackling is as much a part of the game as dribbling, passing it and is. shooting. It's an art form in itself. If this guy loves to defend, let him get in there and let him defend. <laughs> yeah. That's what you need. People who like defending, people who enjoy defending, people who want to get stuck in and clear yeah. the lines. Who else we bought in? Um, Trinkeau, and he's on loan and he'd be an option to buy. Option and to he buy. came from Barcelona. Yeah, big reputation. Anybody yeah. who comes from Barcelona, yeah. you think, oh, you know, the big club, obviously one of the biggest yeah. clubs in the world. We had Samedo from there yeah, last yeah. season, didn't we, Barcelona? And he had a bit of up and down he time, did, and yeah. especially at the start, he struggled, but he did get better, Samedo did. Through, yeah. um, now, Trinkeau, will he have the same problems? Will he start yeah, slow yeah. like Samedo? He's got to adjust to the Premier League. Will it take him a while to find his feet and then maybe get better later in the season? If that's yeah. the case, we need other options. Yes, we've got Traore, but um, Neto is out till October. Yeah. Will Peden still be here? Who I knows? We know. might need to buy another wide attacker yeah. to help Trinko to give him some backup because if he struggles like Samedo struggles for the first half of the season, we need other options if it takes him a while to find his feet. But... He's a good, talented player. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully he'll do the business for us. Next is Jose Sarr. Um, he's a goalkeeper. Yeah. And he came from Olympiacos. How much did we pay for him? Six million. About six million. About six right. Million. So we've sold Patricia for like ten-ish and we've yeah. bought him for six. So we save money there. There you go. That's, you know, in, in financial sense, in terms of running the club, we need money. We need money coming yeah. in through the doors, you know, that's a, a definite. So we've done a little bit of business there. We've got a goalkeeper out, got a new goalkeeper in, and we've earned some money in the process. Good stuff. Patricia, I've already talked about. Now, Jose Sarr, to me, as long as he comes in and he's an average Premier League goalkeeper, the business is good. Yeah. Because Patricia was playing below average. You know, if you look at yeah. his stats, the, he's, he's one of the bottom players, keepers in the league in terms of shots faced to what he's let in. His yeah. percentage was low last season, he wasn't keeping enough out. Aaron Ramsdale, who finished bottom of the league with Sheffield United, he's up in 10th or summer. Patricia's like in the bottom three in terms of the amount of shots faced to what he actually saved. Yeah. So I think as long as this guy we bring in is a decent level, yeah, you've got to be a world beater, yeah, he's going to be the best goalkeeper ever, but as long as he's a decent goalkeeper, then I think we've done some good business. If he comes in and he's a disaster, then people will be up and down. We should have kept Patricia. But Patricia, we're doing great. This guy's got to come in, and if he's solid, if he's dependable, and he's a 7 out of 10, yeah, then I business. think the business is good business, because he's younger yeah. as well. He's a lot younger, so you've got more room for growth with him, yeah. within your team. What's next on the agenda? Next on the agenda is Dylan's Back to the Day. Bruno Lages, assistant coach, will be Sid Little. Thanks, that Dylan. It's uh, Little and Large. No. Comedians. Next on the agenda is yep. we're going to be talking about the pre season friendly against Crew. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, we lost 1 0. Yeah. But 
the biggest news, I think, is that Jimenez played 33 minutes. Raul Jimenez yeah. is back. Yeah, he back is. on the pitch. So it was his first match. I mean, he's been doing training, yeah. but this was his first Proper time match, yeah. on the pitch. First time back on the pitch and in a match. A good sign was that he was headering. Yeah. And, I mean, he had his headgear on and mm -hmm. that, but... That is heading the ball sorry, well. Heading the ball. Yeah. And he'd just come back from a fractured yeah, skull. Yeah, so. the fra first game back, like you said, after that fractured skull, which was oh, a terrible. horrific, horrific injury. So he's done so well to get himself back on the pitch. Yeah. Heading the ball, wearing his protective headgear, looked like probably our best player on the pitch he as did, well. Yeah. You know, um, looks looks good. Um, first off, we played a strong team. We put out, you know, the, 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 the established first team first players. Team. Second half, um, we went with like the under 23s, you know, yeah. the, the kids basically played the second half and it was the second half when Crew got the goal and we ended up losing the game 1-0. But you don't need to worry about the results. No. Results don't mean nothing in pre-season friendlies. It's all no, about it's the about players you. getting fit, getting minutes yeah, in the practice. legs, the manager having a look at people, experimenting, see what's working, trying out his new formations, looking at people in different positions. So we don't need to think, oh, we lost a crew. What, what's important is the players got out there. I don't think we picked up any injuries, which is always no, important in pre-season. You know, we yeah. got through the game. Patrick Catron, hey, come on for um, Jimenez, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I also want to say I'm very surprised Marcel hasn't done something. Yeah, he ain't injured, injured yet. He not is, yet. Not yet. He is yet. injured yet. You know, don't hold your breath, but he's, he's still yeah. all right at the minute, Marcel. I do like Marcel, though, when he plays. He's a good player. Um, <laughs> but... So we got through this game against Crew unscathed, no injuries, we don't think. Yeah. Marcel held up fine. So I know he played in front of him in a left wing position as well. That was yeah. interesting. Went with two up top. It was a four four two. Mm -hmm. You know, so that could be a sign of things to come. And it was a proper front two. It was Jimenez oh, yeah. and Silva, and then Catroni come on like you know yeah. when Jimenez went up after thirty three minutes, playing a proper front two. Interesting. Um, when we go over to this warm weather training camp and friendlies we're going on next week, other players will be back then. We'll see like Neves. Yeah. Um, Matinho, this Mosquera dude, he'll be coming in to, to join us. Yeah. Um, Den Donker will join back up with the team. Yeah. Nelson Samedo will be coming back in. So, you know, we'll see other players coming back and the team will start looking more normal. The, the, the more regular players yeah. will be getting a game. So, yeah, we lost the game, but not to worry. It's a pre season friendly where we're getting minutes in the players' legs, fitness levels, we're yeah. trying to get up and getting used to our new manager's ideas. What's next? on the agenda. Well, next I've got um, some personal news. Oh, personal news, right. Tell us all about this personal news that you've got then. Well, I'm going to show you this and um, it's a Stoke contract. So, um, Stoke City, the academy, have offered me a contract to play for them and here it is. Mm, yeah, it's um, a good achievement to sign a, a contract for an academy level team. Stoke, um, a well-established academy yeah. as well, a good academy, one of the best around in the Midlands, and isn't they? And there's only um, 30 academies in the whole country. Yeah, for, for females, yeah, it's for different females. for the boys, but yeah. in, in terms of girls football, there's only there's 30, only 30 um, professional yeah. teams that have an academy set up. And yeah. there's only allowed 15 in each team. Each academy yeah. is only allowed 15 players in there as well, so it's a very select group. To get in there is very difficult. You have hundreds of girls nationwide trialling to try and get into one of these academies. And you've done fantastically well, yeah. Raya, to get into one of these academies. It's Stoke who've given you the contract. So that's really well done to you. And we're all obviously very proud of your achievements and what you've done. And I'm sure you'll be a big success at Stoke. And yeah. especially with that... Uh, Big lung throw, your big lung throw. Yeah. I love that at Stoke. Well, they're the big lung throw, so yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that you'll do great. We'll read a laugh.